welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for uh, The Good Place, season three, episode one. Yes, so before we get to that, we have just a couple comments to feature from the finale of season two from a couple of our patrons. Which was good, it by was the way. It was fantastic. First being from Victor L, who says, I love... I loved Michael giving Eleanor just a tiny push in the right direction by saying the real question is, what do we owe to each other? Oh, yeah. At the end of season one, what we owe to each other was the title of the philosophy book that Eleanor tore a page out to write herself the message to find Cheedy. It's almost as if the writers had it all planned. Also, it was great seeing Ted Danson as a bartender again. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. was the best. Uh, Tyler McKenzie goes on to say, Love the reaction, guys. Love the judge in this episode. It's Looney Tunes. Hilarious. Also loved it when Janet uh, confessed to Jason that she loved him, and then when Chidi kissed Eleanor, yeah. I was dying. Was love good. them together. Also love the fact that Tahani explained to Eleanor that mates is British for friends. Can't yeah. wait for <laughs> you to react to season three. Um, and then Feather comes through who says, Great reaction. I love this episode and season. Chidi just confidently kissing Eleanor was amazing. It was so amazing. Eleanor is so often the one who brings him out of his fear and doubt, giving him the space to do the things he couldn't do before. Uh, do before they really make each other better people just by association yeah i love this episode for showing how a life-changing event can lead to immediate personal changes but maintaining that self-improvement takes hard work it's so easy to fall back into an old li oh, lifestyle yeah. and old patterns when things get hard we all yeah. have that flaw i think Taking the humans back to their moment of death and giving them more time to get better plus a push in the right direction was brilliant. I think back to season 1, episode 10, Chidi's Choice, when Eleanor told Tahani and Vicky that if she'd known Chidi, Tahani, and Jason while she was alive, she'd have gotten into the good place for real. Such mm. perfect foreshadowing to this episode. Totally agree. Yeah. What Eleanor, I Tahani... Think. Chidi and Jason have always needed in life a strong, positive support system and time to grow. If we really think about it, all four of them died in their 20s and 30s, not nearly enough time to truly live their lives and evolve. Oh, yeah. Now they have more of a fighting chance. Lastly, I want to point out how Eleanor watching Chidi's web series and flying to his university to discuss ethics is almost exactly the scenario Chidi wished for back in season 2, episode 9, Best Self, after Eleanor mm -hmm. confessed her feelings and they thought they were about to get sent to the real bad place. Chidi, I just wish, Chidi says, I just wish uh, we met the way normal people meet, like at a philosophy conference or after one of my philosophy lectures, or you came knocking on my office door asking to help with philosophy. That's so uh, effing adorable. That's now that you pointed that, that out. Yeah. That's when I had that balloon. That is so yeah, effing cute. Blown. And she was like, Eleanor, is that, how, is that how you really feel like people yeah. meet? Yeah. Oh, she goes to write that. Yeah. Eleanor, is that how you think people meet? Chidi, yeah. I don't know how normal people meet. Eleanor, you're such a nerd. Wow. I love this callback so much. The writing of the show is truly impeccable. That was such a great. Thanks for pointing yeah. that out, but That was that amazing. Was that, balloon Ugh, that just yeah. made me geek and my heart melts a little bit. Um, and the last comment is from Lisith, who said, Love the reaction, guys. This was a brilliant finale, and I love the judge's verdict, but I was surprised that now they are back on Earth. Yeah. Eleanor and Chidi kissed, but now they have forgotten the fact uh -huh. they kissed because everyone's minds has been erased yet again. Also, Eleanor's friends are hilarious and crazy and need their own reality TV yeah, show. Yeah, girl's crazy. <laughs> also, Michael helping Eleanor was adorable, and I think he knew Eleanor was the anchor of the group. The writers of the show needs to be immortalized for the amazing work they did. Man, Can't yeah. wait for season three. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're hooking it up. They're bringing it. Yeah, like they I mean, definitely thought of everything. There was no weak points to anything yeah. thus far. Like, there is an end impeccable. game to their whole thing. So yes. yeah. Well, I'm super excited to get into season three now. Yeah. See what what they're gonna do on Earth and how they're gonna navigate this. But yeah. I'm, I'm hoping the squad. Uh, gets together and brings the best out of one another like they always do so they yeah. have a real chance at the good place yeah they're gonna have to all come together at some point and then we're the ultimate test is to see what happens if they do yes. will they end up being good people for the good place and i think they will yeah all right well let's go ahead and get to it. episode one season three we'll talk more about it on the flip side to the end people peace Jacksonville. <laughs> Go through there, you'll be wherever you need to be. You won't have any other powers, though. You want to get around, you're just going to have to take a bus or something. A bus? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man, I'm going to sit in a front-facing seat. Or no, no, maybe a sideways-facing seat. I'm, I'm going to get so motion sick. Oh, 
Oh, man. What do I do? Just grab the key? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This key is made of the very first atoms that came into existence in the universe. It is one of a kind and cannot be duplicated. See? Do not duplicate. <laughs> do not duplicate. And what's the significance of the keychain? Nothing. They just like frogs. I'm a frog guy. Need to head on back to Earth. Oh, no, no, no. Travel papers. Yeah. You know, the uh, judge said to use the same one because I'm, uh, you know, visiting the same people. You know, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I brought you a nice hot cup of antimatter. I usually only drink decaf antimatter. Uh, I don't think it. Uh, it's only 4.30. My shift doesn't end until 9 billion. Until 9 billion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Real question. It's only 4.30. <laughs> What do we owe to each other? The we to Nambi. What did we owe to each other? So, in a nutshell, I have a 3,600-page thesis that I am nowhere near finishing. I am absolutely paralyzed by decision-making, and it is destroying my life. Yeah, I sort of got that when you couldn't choose a chair to sit on. Well, I, I didn't want to finish. It's fucking sitting on both chairs. No, I just kind of walked in here, nope. and you don't know me at all, but is there any way to tell if my indecision is due to a, a, a brain thing? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, so you just march into my office unannounced, tell me your brain is broken, then demand I drop everything and just put you in the university's $3 million MRI machine. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just... Freaking love it! You're so weird. Let's go. You're so weird. <laughs> I want to look at your brain right now. I have to look at your brain. Like right I'm now. so excited about looking at your weird brain. Okay, let's get rid of that memory. Anyone can live this way. Just decide to be more decisive. Like, what's something that you always wanted to do? I mean. I have been putting off getting in shape. Then make the decision to wake up tomorrow morning and get in shape. It is that easy. Okay. Might be a little bit. What have you got to lose? Nothing. <laughs> Henry, what happened to you? Well, yeah, I was using buttons. the leg press at the gym, and you know how your legs bend a certain way? My legs bend the other way now. Oh, no. Yeah. Damn oh, it. gosh. Now his brain broke again. His brain broke again, big Morning, one. Morning, G. We'll bring muffin for you. Uh, I don't know. Baby, I can't be something. You all right there, man? Okay. I've made my decision. I want to start crying. Uh, yeah. And should I play some music? Good idea. Choose something deeply terrible to inspire us. Is it, what's my thesis topic? Because I still don't know! <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you guys haven't met yet. Um, Simone, this is Eleanor. The famous Simone. Nice to meet you. You too. So you're into cheese. <laughs> she didn't <laughs> drop it at all. But I'm usually right about these things. Well, yeah, but I've made it pretty clear a bunch of times and he's never responded, so I just assumed he wasn't interested. Okay, I'm all set. Simone, would you like to have dinner with me? Wow, that is highly inappropriate. Uh, I'm just kidding, yes, I'm not. <laughs> <don't worry about laughs> he will die. He will break all his brain. Oh, cute. This is a disaster. Michael, relax. How are the two of them going to bond? There were plenty of reboots where Eleanor and Chidi weren't even soulmates, and he still always helped her. Simone and Chidi are good together. No, it was very chaste. We didn't even kiss. Because you chickened out? I did, yeah, I did, <laughs> chickened out, and I am so mad at myself. Well, hey, maybe it wasn't the right moment. We'll get a group of people together who have near-death experiences. It's perfect, because that's how honey and Jason. That's right. Why are you yelling at me? Because yeah. I need your help, you and your magic brain scan machine. Oh, of the course, MRI. we're going to study with the neuroscience department. We can use MRI mapping to see if a near-death experience answers brain function. There's something there, right? Definitely, I love this. Great. Also, I wanted to kiss you last night, but I chickened out, so I'm going to kiss you now. Good, yes, I want that, please. Good, yes, I want that, please. <laughs> but this is perfect. Now Jason and Tahani can be part yeah. of this experimental group. Well, Jason got to get out of jail first. Okay. I decided to change my life. First, I cleansed myself of all the worldly possessions that had been weighing me down, like anchors, the dresses, the jewels. I gave them all to goodwill. That's what I call Prince William. Since he'd married a commoner, I assumed he'd know some needy people. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> then I got <laughs> 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 
Bye, Bye, Bono. I still don't think there's some needy people. By the edge's real phone number that even Bono doesn't have. And most importantly, I put fish. Oh, God, there's it. Dang it, we'll live to The Rock. I'm going to live in a Buddhist monastery. I need to get out of the spotlight. Look at Michael back here. Wow. How had you learned about me, I wonder? A professor I had never heard of named Charles Brainman sent me an article. Charles Brainman? Perfect for a study. <laughs> well, welcome to Australia. Yeah, try. Oh, if you need a place to crash while well, you get settled, my motel has a pull-out sofa. Although, as I say that, and I look at you and your whole thing, I realize that's absurd, and you should probably just get your own place. <laughs> your whole thing. Yes, I, I think that's uh, best. <laughs> but, but thank you. <laughs> As I say that, and I look at your whole thing. Right? I don't feel like you would. You're not going to be on that pull-out couch. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Well, we're out of rent money, so remember that thing I said about no more crime? That's over now. Go do crime. Yeah, he go just confessed crime. to the robbery. Damn it! Look, please let me go. I only did it to pay rent for my dance crew's rehearsal space. Oh. Well, then you're in luck. We only arrest people for robbery if they don't have a reason. Sorry. Oh, no, you're in luck. Nah, no, it was my fault. No token of my appreciation. It keeps your antimatter warmer for longer. It's a frog. <laughs> it's a frog guy. There's a frog on it. Right there, it's a frog. Oh, man, it's green as plastic. Oh, this guy's a jumper, you can tell. Thank you! Baby, he's so excited. <laughs> wow, that really went over big. That really went over big. <laughs> Heard episodes of NCIS. Right. Ooh. You know, I'm not a human woman, but that Mark Harmon can get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not a human pie, so that's not cheaty, Oh, sorry, Jeff, let me just... Oh, hey! You know what you would love if you like Mark Harmon? Uh -huh. Ceiling home. Hopefully none of you is claustrophobic. Claustrophobic? Who would ever be scared of Santa Claus? Oh, the Jewish. You from Florida? Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's <laughs> so bad. I'm in the chamber and I've never had a problem in there. I'll be okay too. Kind of reminds me of the home tanning booth I lost my virginity in. Wow. I cannot wait to take a look at these three brains. Oh, forgot to mention, there's one more person who will be joining us. Seems like a really interesting guy. He was almost run over by a train a few months ago. Heard about the same email me last night. Oh, God. This doesn't make any sense. What is it? Well, I was hit by a train. They're all there. What's going on? Oh, it's going to be from the bad place guy. Because oh, no. he know they've been... What is it? Something bad, Janet. Something very dark and evil. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come on in. Everyone. Oh, it's fucking this guy. It is so great to meet you. Oh, God. Sit him down. Oh. <laughs> All right. That was the season premiere of The Good Place Season 3. And my question has been answered. How were they all going to get together? And it has been taken care of. Yes. But with one, one wrench that was thrown into the uh, machine. The bad place guy is there. Yeah, so unbeknownst to Michael, he basically gave them the backdoor access to hack they in by it. coming to Earth. Um, so they were able to infiltrate and create their own. Because, I mean, low-key Michael is cheating, mm -hmm. which is, you know. So the bad place are not doing. They're, so they're kind of cheating just doing now, the same too. Thing, so yeah, they're like, they're look, the you, you, you had the upper hand, so we're going to throw a wrench into this, too. Like, yeah. we're going we're gonna to try to play our hand, yeah. too. Um, but that's going to create a lot of interest. I loved him um, when he first came to The Good Place or whatever. Yeah. It was really good. I liked yeah, him I in the missed. bloopers. It was hilarious watching him. So he's definitely going to be the uh, the snake in their ear and yeah. trying to And what is it going to look like when they fucking scan his brain? He ain't got no brain. So that's well, going to I'm sure they figured probably something got some out. Yeah, they, I'm sure they're trying to do something. To yeah, but it. this episode was good. All the characters was good. The interaction was good. I liked seeing how they got to yep, here. Yeah, how to get to Yeah, yeah so that yeah. was really, 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 really good. Yeah. I thought they did that well. I love the fact that Michael was the person that's basically nudging them all to get to the same place. And it was super genius that Chidi came up with his uh, the, the paper that he wanted to do. And it was ultimately about... Um, yes. about that and that that's and what that's tied everything together. together. It was so, so great. Good. So, and even Michael was yeah. like, yes, this is 
perfect yeah. when he saw that he came up with that idea. Yeah. So I thought that was great too. So that again, kudos to the writers because that's I mean if you have to think about how you, yeah. you, that's how you figured it yes. out right there. So um, all right, so interesting to see how this season is gonna go. For but sure. It's already shaping up to look like they're on a good path to be good. Yes. All right. Well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction <laughs> for the Good Place season three episode one. And until next time, people.